Hi everyone, Matteo here and I welcome you my little RC garage to the next build steps of the new Tamiya CCO2 Mercedes-Benz G500. The chassis is done and the next step is the preparation and paint job of the body. Step 46 is the trimming of the body. As first I make a raw cut around the body and take off most of the not used parts. After this I can make the presses trimming. For the long straight cuts I use a standard scissor. This gives good straight lines. To make the round corners I use a sharp knife and score a line along the market lines. This work requires caution not to damage the body or the fingers. Then I can carefully break out the parts. Bend a bit the polycarbonate and it will break exactly along the carved line. The result of this method is very good. As last I use a bit of sandpaper to refine the edges. Here you can see the trimmed body. Now I have to make some holes in the body. For this I use this body reamer, it works much better as to drill it. But I have to be careful not to make the holes too big. So frequently I have to check the diameter to be sure to get the right dimension of the hole. Step 47 is the masking and painting of the body. As first, the body has to be cleaned. Warm water and soap are good for this. Before I can start with masking the body have to be dry. So I remove the water with a soft towel. This is the masking sheet. I have to cut out all the parts for windows and lights. Here all the maskings are ready to apply. I remove the lining only on one side of the sticker. Now I can place the sticker in the right position and when it's good I press on the side without lining paper. Now I can remove the rest of the lining paper and apply the whole masking sticker. With the same method I applied all the other maskings. Here these side steps have to be painted black. So I'm going to mask this area also. For this I use masking tape from Tamiya. Now the body is ready to paint. Before I start I clean up the body again with a bit of alcohol. I decided to go with this PS57 pearl white as the main color. So I have to use this for the first layer. After this to make it good opaque I will use also some layers of PS1 white. And as last one layer of black. Polycarbonate bodies have to be painted from the inside, so the first layers are the most important, cause these are visible from the outside. It means do not apply too much paint, better a few thin layers. Let it dry and then do the next layer. Here you can see after about 4 layers, the main color is done. Now I make a few layers of PS1 to make it more opaque.
His layers are finished also and completely dry. So I can remove these maskings to make it ready for black. I apply two layers of black over the whole inside of the body. In my opinion it makes a polycarbonate body much better looking with black inside. It's opaque and the interior of the car looks much better and more realistic. But important is to have enough layers of the main color, especially when it's a bright color like white. Otherwise the black will also affect a lighter color and this will be visible from the outside of the body. Now, after it's completely dry, I can remove the maskings. Here you can see the result. The paint job is done. Now I can remove the protection film. I do not use PS31 smoke to tint the windows. I have experience with this and it's extremely difficult to get a proper looking result with this kind of spray paint. The white color is bright and it looks good in my opinion. Step 48 is applying the stickers. There are so many decals. Every sticker has a number and we can apply it in order of these numbers. Every sticker has to be cut out and I start with the sticker number 1. Here it is and I check if it fits on its position. Then I place it on position and fix it with a small piece of tape. Now I can remove the lining on one side and apply the sticker on this side on the body. Next I remove the tape and the rest of the lining and apply the sticker completely. The sticker number 17 is in my opinion not possible to cut out. This small line should be around the headlights. In my opinion it's the better way to use a thin permanent marker to do this. Here you can see the result. Now I apply the last sticker, it's number 78 and this number indicates the amount of stickers. It was a big work and needed a lot of patience. But when I see the result I can say it was worth it. The body looks much better with all these stickers. But what I like to do now are some body lines. This gives even more realism to the body. I do this by using a self-adhesive black film. I cut it in fine lines, so thin as possible. About 0.7 mm lines are makeable. Then I apply the strips on the body along the body lines. Also round corners are possible to do with this method. Hot air from a hot air gun helps to keep the lines permanent in this position. But be careful not to use too much heat. Here you can see it with the body lines applied. Step 49 is the preparation of the front grille, light buckets and side winkers. The front grille needs some paintwork with semi-gloss black X18. For the small gap here, I use a thin permanent marker. And for these areas here, stickers are included. I 
And here the front grille is finished. On the winkers I paint a black border. On the front light buckets I am going to install the included LEDs. The TLUO1 light unit is included in the kit with red and white LEDs. The white LEDs can be installed easily on the light buckets by using this grey LED holder. Because of this the sticker 49 is not needed. Now I can install the front grille and fix it from the inside together with the front light bucket with a screw. Also the side winkers are installed from the inside with a screw. Here you can see the finished front part of the body. Step 50 is the preparation of the rear end of the body with spare tire cover and light buckets. In these areas the light buckets have to be painted silver. For this I use the liquid chrome markers from Molotov. Here you can see the result. The light buckets has to be installed by double sided tape. But before I install it on the body I install LEDs here also. Now I can install the light bucket on the inside of the body. These long parts are not only light buckets. This gives more stability for the polycarbonate body here at the rear end. Next is the work on the spare tire cover. First I paint it with TS26 pure white. I prefer to paint it even it's already white ABS plastic. This because unpainted white plastic after some time gets a yellowish color and this looks ugly. After this paint is completely dry I can make some maskings to paint the black parts. Here everything is masked and I can use TS14 black. After drying of the black I can remove the masking. Unfortunately there are some mistakes. Looks as the masking was not good enough. It's good to know. Also after 30 years of experience it happened some mistakes. But this is not a problem. Most of them can be fixed and the result at the end will be ok. In this case I was able to clean away the black mistakes with alcohol. And as the last layer I paint TS13. It's a glossy, clear varnish. Here you can see the tire cover holder is already prepared with stickers and a bit of black paint. And here it is screwed on from the inside and the spare tire cover is ready to install it on the body. And the rear end of the body is finished too. Step 51 is to work on the side mirrors. Also these parts have to be painted first. Then I make again some maskings and paint some details with semi gloss black. Also here after removing the masking I can solve some mistakes with white color. To make the mirrors I use a polycarbonate sheet and use the stickers to cut it in the right shape. Then I use the chrome paint markers to simulate the mirror. Here you can see the finished side mirrors. The mirrors are installed from the inside with a rubber ring and a body pin. So. Here the mirrors are installed. 
Step 52 is the last build step and it's the installation of the body on the chassis. On the body posts I use some rubber o-rings to make the body sit strong on the posts and not wobbling around. The height of the body looks good and I can shorten the body posts. Here on the rear posts I like to make one more improvement to make the posts more stable. I'm going to install here this 2mm carbon fiber rod. I have to drill 2mm holes and then I can insert the rod. With this the rear posts are more stable. I hope this helps to eliminate the wobbling body. Now I like to turn on the lights. But I have another problem. The Tamiya TLU01 light unit is designed for 7.4 volts. But as you may know from my previous videos I run the truck with 3S. This means 12 volts. Can the light unit handle this voltage without burning? I found someone on the internet who said he uses this light unit with 3S LiPo without problems. So I'll try it. In the worst case only the light unit can be burning up in white smoke. So I soldered this connector adapter cable with XT60 connectors and connect it on the light unit. Now it's the great moment. White smoke or lightning LEDs? Ok it looks as it works. No problem at the light unit getting not hot. So it seems as it works also with 3S LiPos. And now, here you can see the Mercedes-Benz G500 is finished. As you can see here I have added a few more body lines in front. It looks better in my opinion. This was an advice of a friendly RC hobbyist and this is something what I really like. We can so much learn and gain with this great RC community. Now it's only one thing left, the driver figure. How I do this I'll show you in the next video of this build series and then this video will be the last of this build series. Now I say thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel you haven't already. See you soon.